Before sending out your first invoice from Xero, you'll need to create at least one invoice theme. From the main dashboard, go to the Settings tab, General Settings, and scroll down to Invoice Settings. In this demo company, there are three invoice themes already set up and showing. The Everyday theme and the Special Projects theme are created from the standard template within Xero, whereas the Very Orange invoice is a docs template which has been uploaded into Xero. Because the Everyday theme is at the top of this page, it will be used as the default and you will need to select the other invoice templates to use them. You can move these themes around using the drag and drop arrows on the top left so that your default theme can be at the top of the page. I'm now going to show you an invoice that's been, you, that's been created using the everyday theme. As you can see, it's a very simple, easy to read invoice, but I want to make a few changes to this. I want to, my title of my invoice to say sales invoice, and I want to take away this payment cutaway because I'm discouraging my clients from paying me by check. So if I go back to my themes and I go to the options button and edit, I want to change this tax invoice title to sales and I want to untick this payment cutaway advice and I'm going to leave everything else as the same and save. The other buttons we have at the top here are our default settings. So here we can set up some default due dates for our purchase invoices and our sales invoices. You don't have to set them up at all, but if you do, when you come to create your sales and purchase invoices, the default due dates will automatically be filled in, but you can override them at that time. We also have our automatic sequencing here. So if you're coming from a previous system, you probably want to continue with the same sequencing as you had before. So you can change the invoice prefix to whatever you want. You can have up to 10 alphanumeric characters or you can not have a prefix at all if you take that out. And then you can put your next invoice number in. So it could be maybe your next invoice is 201. With our credit note, we can put whatever prefix we wish, but we don't have a space to put a next number. That's because Xero uses one numbering system for the sales invoices and credit notes. So it'd be like credit note one, invoice two, invoice three, invoice four, credit note four, five, invoice six, invoice seven, and so on. And we can also put a prefix and our next number for our purchase orders as well. Again, remember to save. The last button we have on this page is Payment Services. So if you have a PayPal account or you have any other service such as Authorize.net, DPS, eWay, GoCardless or Stripe as well as PayPal or you can use a custom payment URL here if you wish. You can set these up and attach them to one of your invoice themes. So if we, for example, we look at this PayPal account, so it's been set up within Xero and with a PayPal account, you just need your PayPal email address and it's been allocated to the everyday theme. So when an everyday theme is used, if your customer opens this, their invoice online using an invoice, an online link in the email that's sent with the invoice, when they view this invoice, there is a big button that will say pay now. And if they use that button, it enables them to pay into your PayPal account. So it can encourage your clients to pay you faster.